Beatles, Widows, Boz, Ghouls, how are we all doing? Something a little different, something a bit more on the positive. This is something I want to share because I was asked my opinion on this. I'll tell you exactly what and where, why, when. I was sent some footage and it was like, hey, Beardo, could you take a look at this footage for me, please? And then tell me what you think it is. And then I described what I thought it was. And I didn't get no backbiting. I didn't get no, uh, you're so wrong. Stupid debunker. None of that. What I got was... I thought that's what it was. I just wanted to double check before I before I commit to video. Okay, so if you're wondering what the footage is, it's from a recent Ghosts on Trent video. And it's caught the video was titled Poltergeist Activity Caught on Camera Question Mark. And that question mark is very, very important. Because lately a lot of people are like, oh clickbait, clickbait, god damn you, clickbait, thumbnails, click clickbait titles, how dare you grr? And this here is the video. Uh, that's the thumbnail and the title. The question mark is very important because it is a little bit clickbaity. Ooh, did they capture poltergeist activity? Well, for a while they thought they did, but then they debunked it. But they couldn't debunk it on the spot because they were unaware of what happened. They just heard something. Then obviously they go home, they start editing, they ask my opinion. I give them my opinion, not knowing what the reaction to that is going to be. And they react like grown-ups, like proper paranormal investigators say, yep. We thought that's what it was. We just wanted a second opinion. Fantastic. So was the title clickbait? To a degree, yes. They could have just said we went to a house and something happened, but we debunked it. But who the hell is going to watch that? And this clickbait thing is doing the rounds. And I listen, I understand it and I get it. And Ghosts on Trent understand it and they get it. And the Weeds Brothers understand it and they get it. They understand why people are annoyed at clickbait. But you have to hook your audience you have to hook people outside of your audience in and if you just see i went to an abandoned shithole and nothing happened nobody's watching it so you try to hook people in and i get it i understand it i do it myself and i'm not just saying with investigations i do it myself with the bunking videos who remembers when i brought out a video the scariest ouija board footage i've ever watched and as soon as i click play on the video you're all like i'm you beardo that's smug puppy that ain't scary that was clickbait but it's clickbait without lying. There's the difference there. But that's not the crux of what this video is about. What this video is about is a paranormal team goes out, hears something, gets home, checks the footage, questions it, asks a debunker, puts out the video, and then the video is honest. And trust me, they could have got away with this for the few simple little tricks that I'm telling you other teams would have done to get away with it. So let me show you. This is Paul from Ghosts on Trent. Paul's hat is glued to his head. He never removes it. Nobody has ever seen him without his hat. We think it's stitched on or glued. And they are in one of the abandoned locations in the UK. We have thousands of them and it is such a shame. With a little bit of TLC, these places could be converted to help people that are down on their luck and instead they just left to go to ruin. Paul's going downstairs chasing a sound because that's what good investigators do. They go towards the sound, not away from it, running and screaming. Paul goes down to investigate, can't exactly find what it was, and then obviously they don't work it out until they get home. Now instead of doing what fakers do, Paul does the following. Is that filming? It is filming, Paul. Mention something to do with this house. I don't know what that was, Mark. It was like shuffle like that. Yeah, well, I thought it was you. That's no, why I looked no. at you. I haven't moved ever. That camera was hundred percent picked that up downstairs. It did. Definitely, mate. It did. Why would that? I thought it was you moving. No, 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 it wasn't me. It was downstairs, man. We. And this is where you cut the video, you show the object moving, but you tinker with the sound a little bit, and you can get away with it. Pull the guy's activity caught on camera. Oofs on Trent don't do that. They've never done that. Watch. Finally caught something on camera. But was it actually poltergeist activity? So as you can see, the coat that's on the chair on the right hand side of the screen actually moves. This one? Now this coat, it wasn't touched by any of us. In fact, you can actually see it in the first shot when we when we first go into the house and you can see it in that very position it was before it moves and it just happens to move three hours later whilst we're calling out for something to happen so we believe that this is a classic case of 
right place, right time. And unfortunately, as good as it looks and as much as we'd love it to be a paranormal experience, it's pretty easy to debunk. Throughout the whole investigation, there was cars passing by the house and we could actually feel if you've never checked out Ghosts on Trent before, please go and do so. Because I've said this before about them. Not just the honesty and the integrity of their investigations, but the look of it. This camera that Paul is using is the exact same camera that I use. How he gets his to look like that, I don't know. He makes quite a washed out camera, because that's it is a washed out camera. The Sony AX53 look fantastic all the time the b-roll shots are incredible you'd swear he's got like a dolly rig or anything he carries the thing around in a tesco carrier bag feel the vibrations as they went past now just before the coat moves a vehicle does pass by and we believe that this is the actual cause of the movement of the coat How many other teams would have taken that sound of the car hitting that drain cover out and not put anything in there? Just really some static sound from the house instead. Take away the sound of the car travelling and the dunk of the wheels going over that drain cover, which no doubt shook this house a little bit. In fact, enough for that coat to slide. How many teams would have done that? Now, I know some people may say, no, 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 that was paranormal. That was definitely paranormal. But we definitely have to use logic and it's very clear to see that the car going past caused the vibrations that made the coat move. Now, earlier on in the investigation, when we heard what we thought was someone walking around. Mark has lost so much weight at this point. It's incredible to see. He's had some health issues and he was feeling a bit run down. And then he just decides to start doing push-ups and running. And he had quite the belly like mine big beer belly and look at him he's lost it he's lost all his weight around there fair play to him he looks 10 years younger than he did six months ago outside and inside the house this could also be caused by vibrations from cars going by and something else moving within the house but at that moment in time we didn't actually have the static cam set up to prove this so once again we'll leave this investigation empty-handed but we were able to show how natural causes can also be mistaken as paranormal activity. Not often you see teams calling things like that out for what it really is. People are going to switch the sound out, leave that thing fall, slow motion it and replay it over and over and over again like paranormal activity caught on camera. So what you're about to see is actual poltergeist activity caught on camera this is the raw footage there has been no tinkering just watch this amazing amazing activity the ghost on trent of court at this very very haunted location Poltergeist activity in this haunted house and then everyone and their dog descends on the same house until somebody gets pissed off for the amount of people go in there. Ghosts on Trent don't do that. And this is a stand that I want to hold myself to. This is the standard that a lot of teams that I shout out hold themselves to. The teams I support all would have behaved in the exact same way. Maybe we wouldn't have got the cool shots and the little slow zoom ins and the dynamic zoom in. But you know what I'm getting at? The, the, the fact that they've gone through the footage, sent it to me, asked my opinion, and then brought out the video with a, it was this. And then not just stop there and say, look, I know there's going to be people saying it is paranormal activity, it doesn't matter about the car. Paul is saying, nah, it wasn't because other things were probably moving earlier on in the video. All the noises we heard could be related to vibrations through the house. 
so when people say to me things like, you know, which channels should I check out? And I'm like, I've got a playlist. This is the reason why. This is why I will investigate with Ghost Sun Trent and the Ouija Brothers, exploring the entity, Dead Cold, all of these channels that I list over and over and over again. Why I will work with them when I've got the time at the drop of a hat. Because I trust them. There's no shenanigans. There's no bullshit. And even if we do capture something, which me, Paul and Mac, believe we did at the Jumanji house, people will say, oh, you've overlaid that. You've cheated this. You've cheated that. We know we didn't. We heard those footsteps and we heard that woman distinctly saying hello on a number of occasions. We didn't think it was a ghost. We thought it was a person. We run downstairs to check. There's nobody there. And you're allowed to question what we put out in that video. You're allowed to think, ooh, I wonder if it could have been, it could have been. It could, absolutely. Question everything. But oh, me, Paul and Mark, no, we didn't fake anything. And this is the type of thing that should draw your attention to. After months and months and months of these guys getting nothing, nothing at all, they weren't even tempted to say, look at this. We captured paranormal activity the first time in eight or nine months they don't do that they capture it they work it out they debunk it they include that in the video and then even say or even then go as far as to say and i know some of you are going to be thinking but you're wrong it was definitely definitely the car hitting that dream vibrations caused that coat to fall personally i would rather watch how old, how long was that video of theirs 31 minutes I would rather watch 31 minutes and 51 seconds of these guys capturing nothing and then a debunk at the end of something very natural than 10 minutes of the shit that I have to watch week in, week out to keep proving the teams are lying and full of shit and faking things and all the rest of it. They could have got away with that and they could have got away with it easy, but they don't. Good, honest investigating. Now, I'm not saying these guys are scientifically investigating, but they're honest investigating. They're not pulling the wool over anyone's eyes. And yes, they use the Ghost Tube app, something that I don't use anymore. I'm not particularly a fan of it. But it doesn't mean that me and them are going to bicker and argue and be like, oh, it is real. And no, it's not. They say it's an experiment. It's a tool. I think, in fact, in this video, they describe it as just helps us with the calling out and sometimes gives us something to go off. Fine. Just because I don't use them doesn't mean they're wrong for using them. We can all have these different opinions, you know, but if the app had said the word demon and then they put demon in the title with a big red arrow pointing at a picture of a demon and then a big red ring around the superimposed demon and all that came off was the app said demon then i'm gonna have a problem but they don't do that so let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below and please please as a personal favor to me head on over to ghost on trent drop a like on the video leave them a comment telling them that i sent you and give these guys a bit of a boost because the last year has been really difficult for ghosts on trent max had his illnesses and then his weight loss journey paul has just welcomed a new family member in with his daughter so they've taken some time off and the algorithm seems to have punished them a bit for it so please go and help them out they're good friends of mine and they are fantastic investigators honest people that like fantastic investigators fantastic people and i consider myself lucky to call these guys not only my work colleagues but my friends much love to you all beardo out dude bro dude bro demons demons bro murders we've caught a ghost